Good morning everyone, welcome to a new episode. We are coming actually live from Yule Beauty and we are tuna fishing once again. We've got the Tiagras. We're just trying to spread a four today. I think we've got a diver, a skirt and two pro Fiji squidgies, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, shallow again, about 60 meters. And hopefully we can get another big fish on deck or two. I guess we'll let you know if we catch anything and have your fingers crossed for us. And I forgot to introduce Jed, but he's always tuned to fish with me, so it doesn't really matter, you guys know that. And yeah, we'll hopefully see you guys soon. You Plenty of birds here. This is our first sign of a lot of birds, which is really good. So we're gonna hang around here. We've been seeing birds, but real scattered, nothing like this. And this is the first time we see them actually diving, so it's a really good sight. You get really, really excited, and your hopes are up when you see a lot of birds like this. So there must be bait around, they've, they've all seen something. So we'll troll around here, cast some stick baits from the front, and just see if we can see anything. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, 100%. There's fish there. They're gonna bust up any second. Fish straight ahead. Fucking sickles. Yeah, f just sickles in the water right there. Oh, straight in there. Give you a good chance. dog. Oh, boy, you stick, mate. Tuna. Huh? Where? There's just a f***ing yellow fish Follow on your stick. Didn't you see that? No. Nah. It made us swell and all. Right behind it, I just looked. You and I just picked it out, eh? <gasps> yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, not really, but fuck, it's a fish. Just watch where you're going, watch where you're going. Yeah, boys! That's a run! That is a run! <laughs> yeah! Just put in idle if it's not already. Just uh, just pull the rods in, bruh. Yeah, boys! Dropped it on up. Oh, he's running hard now, bruh. You beauty gets the dog from the front of you beauty. He's giving me a go. Yeehoo. Bro, it's a good fish, eh? I just got straight back to idle reverse. Just fight it if you have to. Yep, yep. You got it? Yep, I got it. Jump around. Can you fight it for a sec? Is he? Yeah. Close. Look at the colours on it. Look at the sickles. What the f Oh, he's coming up easy because he's... Those birds just look at Dave or is there something around? Holy f***. Oh, there's going to have to be a gas shot of the century. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> Hold on, bro. I'm petrified. Especially because it's your fish, I don't want to lose it. And it's coming up backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's actually f***ing day. Hopefully it doesn't cut your breath. Right there. 
man, this isn't good. He's coming up backwards, he's wrapped around the tail, which is a bit sketchy because it could just cut the braid off easy one kick. And his green eyes, you can see the colours. He's so alive still, but we're going to try and gaff him. If we can get him close. He's a good fish. He's a very good fish, actually. Should we try tail rope it? Ah, just gaff it. He's just doing circles. I'm going to try and gaff it, then if we lose it, it's not on Jed because it's just better that way, I reckon. Keep going, one more, one more. No, 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 no. Bring it up this side. Uh, oh, hold on. It's on tail rack. It's on tail rack. No. Hold on, brother. What's he doing? Going high, that's good, but. Oh, yep, there he is. Boy, this is a corker. I know. This is a <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> oh, yeah, you... That's good, that's good bro. Left in reverse, left in reverse. What is he doing? Spewing. Psych! It's alright, it's alright. It's not f***ing alright. Oh, for f***ing sake. It's all good, bro. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Well, that's about as unlucky as you get. You know, it was right there. We were just about to gaff it, and it just the hooks just came out. There's nothing wrong with the hooks. They were sharp, and yeah, just unlucky. It was tail wrapped for the whole hour of the fight and then right at the end it got untail wrapped and then yeah we pulled the hooks so nothing you can do about it but it's like it's vicious and I know I keep losing them off the top but I think I'm gonna need a bigger reel and a better rod but you know it's I'll just end up buying them but hindsight's a great thing but we'll just keep fishing hopefully we can find some more busting up but yeah it was unlucky there's nothing you can do about it, it's still awesome just about here, see him busting up, hook him, that was a bonus from the front especially. But yeah, anyway, hopefully we can get some more. So Jez is on, on the troll, we are casting stickies at the time, could see fish, but we just wanted to leave a few rods in just in case. Big runs! Yeah doggy. Yeah. He's taking the head cam off. He said he was getting sweaty. Left hand for us. Kick on, kick on. Whack him. Yeah, I got second guy. He's I think he's dead anyway. 
Ready, one, two, three. That's a mad fish, bro. Yes! That's a big dog! Here, yeah, brother. It wasn't even hooked. Look, that was hooked on the tail, not even in the mouth. I think it was dead, eh? Oh, it is dead. So yeah, tail wrapped and died on the fight. Jed with the first tuna of the day. It's a good size one. Do you reckon that's your PB? Oh, I don't know. We'll have Close. a wait when we get home. But yeah, pretty stoked. We lost a good one at the start, but managed to get this one in, so we're, we're stoked. No more donuts. Yeah. As soon as we put Jed's fish in the fish bag, they were busting up. I cast, first cast or second cast, absolute bulldoze through. Grabbed my stick bait, had it. It was almost four meters. That my line just like that so i've tied another stick bait on and it's terrible conditions now but hopefully we can find them again and get one off the top finally just... but if we don't you know we've got fish on deck so that's all that matters really and it's always a good day when you're fishing Can I cast? Yeah. Oh my god, we're actually gonna go straight into it, eh? What the hell? Oh, it's sickled! Just... Oh. Surely you get a hook up like that. I know. Oh, know. Oh, swiping it, swiping it, swiping it. Dude, this is what dreams are f***ing made. Do you guys see that? I didn't even hook, hook a fish, but the fact that they're busting up right there <laughs> while we've got fish on is just crazy. This is crazy fishing. That was hectic, bro. I just turned it on for that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then they're just busting. Look, you can still see them. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good catch, my brother. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, one, two. Yes, boy! Yeah, nice, bro. <laughs> Let's get another one. <laughs> Small, but. Lucky an Abbey. 
Yeah, he's pretty big. Yeah. That was a perfect time, man. That is a... That yeah, it's pretty solid, eh? It's getting pretty late and the wind's up, so we're just going to troll in because the wind's so strong. So we just troll in slowly, get in by, I don't know what time, six-ish. And we still got a bit of light left then. We're just bringing the rods in. We were trolling, but we're going to try and hit it a bit harder, the wind's not as strong in close up, but yeah. We got three fish, a thumper yellowfin, a thumper alvey, and a small 30 to 40 kilo yellowfin. It's, I did want to release the alvey, but it's, it's generally hard to release these big game fish. Now. They go skits at the boat, you got a hundred dollar lure on the end of it, you know, there's sharp hooks, they're powerful fish, and it's, it's generally hard. Like We're still learning to gaff fish properly, and then you want to mouth gap them to take the hooks out and then release them like it's just hard. So we've got a lot of fish on deck which won't go to waste obviously. And yeah, we've had a crack a day. Started off pretty pretty bad, lost two good fish. Oh it hurts but what can you do? I lost three three yellow fish all <laughs> I had a I had a shocker but Jed came came through with the goods and saved us, so it's all good, but you get those days. Yeah, I got the best eating, so <laughs> it's all that matters. But yeah, you have those days, and it's awesome being just out here, seeing Jed catch fish, and yeah, no complaints whatsoever. So we'll try and steam in a bit faster, but it's going to be hard. We don't have a $50,000 fiberglass boat, so we just have to deal with as fast as we can go without just getting send her into your beauty. Yeah, but in saying that, your beauty, she hasn't let us down. Game fishing, she hardly ever donuts, which is donutting is when you just go out, you just don't turn a reel whatsoever. We've had a few days where you come in with nothing, but we still usually hook a fish or get an alvey or something. So, she's a good girl. She's done us proud today. Came through with the goods, but yeah, we'll come in and steam in in a second. See you guys when you get in. Well, we made it in, thank God. The entrance to the room mouth was hectic. It was full waves breaking and stuff. I had to really just not talk and just concentrate because that was very sketchy though. I can see why people die now, just trying to ride those waves in. But yeah, all safe and sound. So we're just packing the car and get ready to head off. It's about a two hour journey home. So yeah, we'll try and, try and see how far we can get before it gets dark. But yeah, it'll be a bit of a, a, bit of a mission in the dark anyway. A good day. Just down the boat ramp, filleting Jed's 40-ish kilo fish. So we just took one one fish each, and I took the small one, and the Alby and Jed took the big one. I've already taken a fairly sizey chunk fillet for a couple mates, but yeah, gonna do the rest on a time lapse, and you guys can just watch. Probably won't do a catch and cook for this episode, but you know, we'll try and do a really good fillet job and not waste anything. Anyway, let's go. So big yellow fin's done. Got heaps and heaps of steaks. They still need to be skinned and take the blood out, but that's all good. And yeah, all the meat's off this, so the pelicans are gonna be happy. I did get the stomach, and I'm just gonna show you guys what they've been eating. It's pretty gross. Ugh. God. Ugh. There's a lucky pelican. 
<laughs> oh, it stinks. Anyway, they've all kind of decomposed pretty well, but you can see tiny little pilchards, about the size of my index finger, I reckon. And yeah, probably just like thousands of them every day, just smashing them. And I guess that's probably why the smaller stick baits were working better. But yeah, it's interesting to see. It's nature. It's pretty cool. Enjoy that pelican. Anyway, guys, Jed and I smashed the tuna. You guys saw another awesome tuna episode. No catch and cook this time, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nonetheless, your beauty has been smashing them. And yeah, it's just awesome to be out there. Regardless if we catch any or not, it's just a massive, just awesome display of nature that you can't really see anywhere else and yeah just seeing that like i said if you don't catch anything it's still just awesome being out there anyway guys hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget hit the like hit the comment and hit the subscribe and i'll see you guys next time you yeah you Sucking in. Two on two tail wrapped. <laughs> oh no, what, wait, what? Why on two tail wrapped? No wonder he went so hard. Put the hand on the stickle. Of course I catch this. <laughs> <laughs> we're just bringing the rods in. We were trolling. What? I'm just talking.